Hello, this is Miss Moore with the janitorial spot. And today we're gonna to go over setting appointments. The first thing you wanna make sure of when you're setting appointment is you have a nice quiet room. Unlike mine today, because I have my dogs in here with me, so bear with me. Okay, now when we're setting appointments, the purpose of setting appointment is to make sure that we talk to the client, let them know what we're capable of doing so we can sell our business. That's the purpose of getting an appointment, to get your foot in the door so that you can sell your business. The appointment is not to get the contract over the phone. That's not the type of industry we have. Now, setting the appointment. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need our phone, pen, paper, and our script. If you become a member of the janitorial spot, you're gonna have your handy script right here, which is gonna go over all the different ways you're gonna prep for your appointment. If not, follow me and I'll walk you through it. Now, the other thing we wanna make sure we do is we wanna have a set time that we do our appointments. Normally, I suggest Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Mondays and Fridays are, aren't my favorable time for setting appointments because usually we have clients that just got in from the weekend, so they may not be in the mood to have anyone try to set an appointment. And on Fridays, a lot of people are off. So Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays have been the best days for me. Also, be ready to do at least 200 phone calls a day. I know that sounds like a lot, but the average is normally 200 phone calls because when you're setting appointments, it is a numbers game. You want to be in a relaxed environment and you want to make sure that you look at the time. You want to note the time down on your paper. So right now it's 1224 and you're going to make sure that you do 200 phone calls and that's normally 30 to 50 phone calls in 30 minutes depending on what questions are asked when you're setting an appointment. Um, we also suggest that you do it around the same time of the day. The time that I like to do appointments are between 9 and 11. People have gotten in from the morning, they've had their coffee, they're more apt to have a little bit more of a conversation with you and be in a relaxed mode. You don't want to do it during lunchtime, and then you may want to start back again between say 1.30 and 3.30. These are the best times to do your appointments. Now, I'm going to show you one of the ways that I prep for getting ready to do my appointment. I look over my script no matter how long I've been doing it so that I feel relaxed when I'm preparing for the person that's going to answer the phone on the other end. So your question may be, how do I know where to call? Well, one of the ways we do is if you're a member of the janitorial spot, we give you actual lead phone numbers to call. But let's say, for instance, you haven't become a member yet, you're just going to take your handy dandy phone book and you're just going to choose what you think for that day you want to call. For instance, I might call lawyers, chiropractors. The great thing about the janitorial field is anyone could be a potential client. So today we're going to choose to call daycares. So I look under the phone book under daycares and an easier way also is to go on the internet. You can put in yellowpages.com and on the internet you can put in whatever area you're looking to do your appointments for. So say for instance you're in the DC area, you choose a zip code for the yellow pages and you put that in and that would be the way you would make your appointments. So if you didn't have the internet and you just had your phone in your phone book like we used to do, you're just going to look up daycares, you're going to simply call the number. And when the reception answers, which news normally is the person that's going to answer, you're going to simply say, Hi, this is Miss Moore calling from the janitorial spot, and I'd like to speak to the person that handles your janitorial services. Thank you very much, I'll hold. Most times the receptionist will give you the person that's in charge of setting up the appointment. If you're not able to get to the person, you may ask the receptionist for the person's name, an extension so that you can then call on your own. Now, the next time you call, you're gonna have the extension of the name of the person that handles the janitorial services so you don't have to go to the receptionist. Once you've called and you've spoken to the person, say it's Mr. Johnson, you're gonna say, hi, this is Miss Moore calling from the janitorial spot. I'd like to know if I could come in for a free bid on your property and it shouldn't take more than five or 10 minutes. When you're doing that, the purpose is to get the appointment to do the walkthrough. Mr. Johnson probably already has a service like most people do, but you want to go ahead and tell him that he could get a second opinion or a second price so that if this other company's not working out well, he's got you to fall back on. 
Now you're all ready. You're going to set down, set the date and time. You're going to set your phone book over here and you're going to write down the time that Mr. Johnson said you could come in. You've got the address. You've got the phone number. So Mr. Johnson said that I could come in next Wednesday at 9.17 in the morning. Set aside about 15 or 20 minutes to meet with Mr. Johnson and then you want to go ahead and get started in your walkthrough. The next step, we're going to show you what you're going to need to prep for your walkthrough. So that's it for now. Thank you for visiting the janitorial spot and this is Miss Moore. We'll see you next time to prepare for our walkthrough. Have a great day.